Do we have any meetings on the books? Nothing yet. Except the private poker game tonight. This is not a curse. This is a gift. We're living in the age of remakes, reboots, and recycled cinema. If there's a movie that worked the first time, you can bet it's in redevelopment. And so here comes what men want, flipping the gender on the 2000 film What Women Want, that one starred Mel Gibson. We begin with Ali, as played by Taraji P. Henson. She's a rising star in a sports agency, but that star is bumping against the glass ceiling. The firm is a boys club and, well, she just doesn't play well with others. Part of the problem is her overly aggressive attitude. Ali is all about Ali, and for her, men are just a problem to solve until one night. Her friends invite her to a psychic with a special drink. You want to know how to connect with men, right? Well, I can help you open your inner portal. So let's just have some tea. Oh, I don't really like tea. No, 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 have some. That's actually musician Erica Badu, who is funny, freaky, and flaky. Perfect casting. So Ali takes a sip and eventually wakes up with this new ability. She can hear men's thoughts. Soon she's driving to work and freaking out her assistant, a scene-stealing performance by Josh Brenner. I swear on my life I would never say anything disrespectful or inappropriate to you ever. Which is more than I can say for you. Right there. You just did it. You said more than I can say for you. I heard you say I, but, but it. But I, I, I didn't say it. Holy crap. Can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts. Now, let me level with you. When I first saw the trailer for this, I was worried it was one of those films where they cram all the jokes into the trailer and all that's left are 90 minutes of awkward agony. But I was wrong. First of all, I had no idea Taraji could be this funny. Yeah, I mean, the physical comedy alone, there's no holding back. In particular, a few hilarious bedroom scenes where she is fully in control. And speaking of romance, Part of what makes what men want work so well is the relationship in the middle. What starts as a scheme to use a bartender to further her career gets deeper, and, and that's one of the things about this film. Here and there, characters surprise you by actually making smart moves. Raised by her single dad, Ali's always tried to compensate by being the toughest. Now with her powers, she's beginning to learn how she comes off. Add to this a surprisingly solid cast. Tracy Morgan doing, you know, the goofy Tracy Morgan thing. Here he plays a basketball player's father. Pete Davidson shows up as the office weirdo. And, you know, let's be honest. If you go back to the first What Women Want, it's kind of, can I say skeevy? Watching Mel Gibson use his powers to manipulate women. But the update tackles the challenges that Ali faces as a black woman in the workplace in a refreshingly frank way. So, what's the downside? Well, it's a rom-com, which means there are secrets, and when they're revealed, the predictable crisis does hurt the momentum. Still, there are killer scenes, a great soundtrack, especially if you're a fan of En Vogue, making this the girls' trip comedy of 2019. Three and a half stars out of five. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.